Hello and welcome to my review of Madagascar 3, Europe's Most Wanted. Now, going into this film, I did not have, well, a few, like a week, when this film first came out, I didn't have high hopes for it. Then I started to hear it was actually pretty good. And that kind of changed it for me. So I wanted to see it because I wanted to see, is it actually good? Or is it just, you know, good, but I'm going to hate it? In the end, I actually had a very good time from it. And I'm going to tell you a little story. Uh, I got a Prometheus poster, a free one, for this. I thought that would be the best part of this film. No, I, I really enjoyed it, in fact. Now, you know, the first 15 minutes, it's kind of slow. I've seen it before in all the other Madagascars. And I didn't hate the second one. I liked it, in fact. First one, I was never a really big fan of. But, uh, and then once you get past the first 15 minutes and they get onto the train with the circus animals, that's when it gets pretty cool. Okay, I want to put this out. Martin Short's in it. He plays like a seal. And, uh, the seal, he looks just like Martin Short and he acts like him. I think that's cool. And Martin Short was quite funny in this film. There was funny humor for adults, funny humor for kids. So that's awesome. That's always good to have in there, and I thought that could only happen in Toy Story and real, and other real situations. But no, this film had very good, genuine humor. It wasn't just kiddie humor, it wasn't a generic film. And, uh, there were scenes, like the circus scenes, where they're doing trapeze and stuff, it's all neon and bright. I wish I would have seen it in 3D, just for that. Because it looked visually stunning, even from not seeing it in 3D, so that's awesome. Not to m mention, the penguins are back, and they are as funny as ever. I love the penguins. They are awesome. They're my favorite characters. And I like the relationship, you know, the little romance going on between King Julie and Sasha Baron Cohen, the lemo, and this bear. I, I it was silly, but I liked it. Also, there's this Russian, like, tiger, and, yeah, it brings some tiger blood in here, but it's not Charlie Sheen. But there's a Russian tiger, and it gives him a really good backstory, and that really brings out the backbone of the story, and I really liked his character once he started to progress. He had a, he, he built his character up. Oh, why can't I think of the word? Good character building, that's what I was thinking of. It had good character building with him. And... Finally, um, there's this Corella the Ville type character in there, and she was kind of, she, we didn't need her, honestly, but it, she, she just made them hit their lowest, their lowest low. In the end, I'm going to give this film, surprisingly, I thought this film was going to be a good time even if you don't have to pay, or a good time if you have, if you don't, if you do pay. But no, I actually feel this should get the awesome sauce rating. This film very much surprised me, and I really suggest actually going to see it. Not by yourself, though. You know, see it with kids if you have them, or see it by yourself. I would not be disappointed. Honestly, it, it's kind of teetering on the edge of awesome sauce and a good time even if you have to pay. But I'm going to give it awesome sauce. I'm in a good mood. So, goodbye. Please like, favorite, and subscribe.